Welcome back. We are continuing to work on standard 4 MBT5, numbering operations in base 10. However, we will now move on to multiplying by a two digit, two two digit numbers. Okay, so we're gonna change it up a little. This is problem number six. There's our writing, marking utensils. Let's do it. Here we go. Move that off to the side. Let's mark it up. Let's just read out the sentence first. Number six for grade four, unit two, practice problems. Select the unknown number that makes the equation true. Okay, very important, true. What does that mean? One, true, three, false. Okay, highlight very important words. We have an equation. An unknown number. What is that unknown number? Well, that's the only one right there. So it's so important. I'm going to circle it. Remember, true. Very important. Okay, so we have L stands for left side. So here's the left side of the equation. Here is the right side. Notice the equal sign. So this side needs to be equal to that. Since we have been doing so much of area model, well, we should probably just do more area model. And watch how I'm going to set up this time. This time I'm going to make a little chart. Okay. This is going to be the left side of the equation. This will be the right side of the equation. Left side. I have 34 and 84. Let's expand this. So remember, expanded form. We're going to put it in ones, tens. 34 is the same thing as 30 plus 4. 84 is the same as 80 plus 4. So we expanded it in ones, tens. All right, let's draw the model out. So I'm going to put the model right here. Just the paper cuts off right there. Just ignore that. Actually, we'll use it to our advantage. I'll put a line right there, and I'll put a line down to draw our area model shape. I'm going to take this number and put it first. 30 plus 4. Remember, we're multiplying. And then I'm going to take 80 plus 4. See where I got those two numbers? Now, I was doing area model problems with students today, and in this box, you have 80 times 30. A student forgot one of the zeros. If you forget one of these zeros, it changes this entire problem. Notice how I'm checking each one. Make sure that you check each one. In fact, watch this. One zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Double check, triple check, quadruple check. Now by now, you should know what eight times three is. If you don't master those math facts as fast as possible, eight times three is 24. So we have 2,400. Let's go to the next number, 80 times four. So in this box, this is 80 times four. Notice how I have one zero. I'm gonna put the zero down right there right now. All right, eight times four is 30. Two. So now I have 320. Okay. So this is for this box. This is for this box. We have two more boxes left. Remember, this is a two digit multiplied two digit number. Over here, we have four times 30. Four times three is 12. Bring down that zero. Check, check. And our last box, four times four is 16. Okay, so there's area model. Let's go to the right side of the equation. Notice how they have these numbers over there? But I'll write it over here so you can see it. I'm just taking these numbers and putting them over here. 2,400 plus 120 plus unknown number. Then I'll write it right down here, plus 16. So 
So I just took all of this and I'm going to show where all these numbers fit. And we're going to get colorful. 2,400, 2,400, check. 120, 120. color <gasps> pink which one is that 320 or 16 let's wait which color do I have let's go with green 16 16 what is my unknown number 320 what's my answer 320 and this number goes right in there. All right, take your time. That's about six minutes. Most of these problems should take you about anywhere from three to four minutes once you get really good. And then once you get really, really good, you just can do this mentally. But for now, you show all of your work. Copy every single thing down as possible. Keep in mind there are some other different ways to solve these problems. This is one way of solving the problem. Um, if your teacher has another way in different colors, remember, go to what your teacher likes you using. This is Mr. D, room 26. Enjoy. Have fun taking those notes. And remember, practice, review, and study. Later.